here we have a geometry problem uh, so in the figure given below so we have to find the value of x okay so to find the value of x so let's consider the right triangle uh, b c d so in this right triangle BCD, uh, X represents the hypotenuse because in a right triangle, uh, the side which is opposite to a right angle is called hypotenuse. And uh, here, if I know the length of the leg BD, I can use Pythagorean theorem uh, to get the length of the hypotenuse X. Okay, so to get the length of BD, first I consider the right triangle uh, BAD. In this right triangle BAD, I know the length of uh, the two legs AD and AB, but I do not know the length of BD. So BD is, uh, BD is the side which is opposite to the right angle over here. So BD is the hypotenuse in right triangle ABD. So what we can do is uh, we can use Pythagorean theorem uh, to find the length of uh, the hypotenuse BD in right triangle uh, BAD. Okay, so let me consider uh, the triangle BAD. So in this right triangle BAD, I'm just going to use Pythagorean theorem. According to Pythagorean theorem, uh, if I add uh, the squares of two legs of the triangle, uh, right triangle, it must be equal to the square of the hypotenuse. That is, I square the two legs uh, AB and AD. So I'm getting AB square positive AD square. So it must be equal to the square of the hypotenuse, which is BD. So we get BD square. Okay, for AB, I know the length, it's uh, square root of 7, so square root of 7, the whole square. And for AD, I know the length, uh, it's 3, so 3 square. And for BD, I do not know the length, it has to be kept as it is. So here the square root and square will cancel out, I'm getting 7. And the value of 3 square is uh, just 9, equals to BD square. Okay, so 1 positive 9 is 16, 16 is equal to BD square. Okay, but I need uh, just BD. So for that, I have to get up the square. So for that, uh, what I need is I have to take uh, square root on both sides. Then the square root and square will cancel out over here. And when you take uh, square root for a number, usually you'll be taking positive or negative in front of square root. Uh, so then I'm getting a positive or negative. And uh, for the square root, the value of square root of 16 is 4. And the right side, we just have BD over here. So now I got uh, BD. So I'm getting BD equals to positive or negative 4. But the BD represents the hypotenuse of a right triangle, uh, BAD. So the hypotenuse can now be a negative value. So we can ignore the negative sign over here. So let's consider only the positive sign. So finally, we get BD is equal to 4. Okay, now in the right triangle, BCD, I got the length uh, of the leg uh, BD, which is 4. Okay, now let's consider uh, the right triangle, BD. C, D. In this right triangle BCD, I'm going to use a Pythagorean theorem. That is, uh, I'm just going to square the two legs uh, BD and uh, CD. So, 4 square, positive 3 square. It must be equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So, already the length of the hypotenuse is given, that is X. So, equals to X square. Okay, the value of 4 square is uh, 16, the value of 3 square is 9, and uh, it is equal to X square. So 16 positive 9 is equal to 25 equals to x square. So I just need the value of x for that. I have to take square root on both sides. When I take square root on both sides, so the, the square root and square will cancel out over here. And also you do, we don't have to consider positive or negative sign over here in front of square root. Because even if I get negative sign, I will ignore it. Because x represents the hypotenuse of the right triangle, BCD. It cannot be a negative value. So square root of 25 is just y. And here on the right side, I'm getting x. So now I got the value of x. The value of x is 5.